important thing here is that the angle alpha is opposite side A, the angle beta is opposite side B, and the angle gamma is opposite side C. So if you didn't write these down on Wednesday, if you weren't here, here's your chance to. Cosines to go up. It's the exact same triangle for the law of cosines, and really the only law of cosines that you need is this first one. You can rearrange the letters as appropriate so that your A is the side you're looking for, or your alpha is the angle you're looking for. The thing that matters is that the side on the left that is squared is opposite the angle that's in your cosine function. Everybody got it written down? I know we can always reason it out because the thing that throws people is which side of A and B are the is the satellite on. But based on the fact that one of them is 87 degrees and the other one is a slightly bit smaller, 84 degrees, it basically turns out to be this picture. So here are our stations A and B. Here's our satellite. Here's the 87 degree angle of elevation. Here's the 84 degree angle of elevation and I don't know where it went. But between A and B, how many miles was it? You guys remember it said 48, right? Pretty sure it said 48. 48 miles. I'm supposed to find how far the satellite is away from station A. So, that would be this line. Yes? Uh, okay, 
Okay, so you want me so you want me to find this angle. Actually, you do need that angle in order to then get the third one. So this angle is, you guys remember what these are called when they form 180 degrees? No? Supplemental, complementary. Supplemental angles add up to 180 degrees. So that's 180 minus 87, which is going to get me 93. So this angle right here is 93 degrees. And then what? Up here is going to be how? Right, they all add up to 180, so I have 180 minus 93 minus 84, and that turns out to be 3. Probably. So this angle is 3. All right, now what? Okay, so it's going to use the law of sines. I have an angle opposite a side that I know. So I can use the sine of the angle, sine of 3 degrees <coughs> over 48, bless you, is equal to sine of 84, sine of 84 this is x, because that's what we're looking for, sine of 84 over x. All right, and how do I solve this then? Cross multiply, so x times the sine of 3 equals 48 times the sine of 84. Then divide both sides by the sine of 3, so I'll have x equals 48 sine of 84 over the sine of 3, and let's see what we get. we're looking for, we'll call that y, over the hypotenuse, which we found in the last part of the problem. So the sine of 87 is going to be equal to the opposite side y over our last answer, which was 912.127233.4. And I would not round it if I were you. It's likely to mess that up. All right, so let's see. I need to solve that. What do I do? Well, I just multiply sine of 87 by 912 point, all that stuff. So 912.127233.4 times the sine of 87 is going to be my answer. Why? Y is equal to 910.877.1984. Okay. 